So we've got the perimeter beams for the back porch up and those are all secured. These are double 2x10s and they're held together with 3 inch structural screws, 16 inches on center. The beams are fully supported by the posts. They're sitting on the seat of a notch that is cut in the top of each post. And then there's a couple of six inch structural screws going through the post into the beam. And in addition to that, the, um, the corners of each beam, they're staggered and there are uh, some framing screws face screwed into the opposing member on each corner. So it's a good strong joint. And in the center, we've got a rated column. That is a uh, four by six glue lamb column. It's basically a stack of yellow pine two by fours that are glued together under pressure. It's real heavy, a lot heavier than the cedar and very dense, super strong. So that, there'll be two of those on, on both, one on both, on each end and uh, those will support the ridge beam. So we cut the notch short up on that guy so that we can have um, the post that goes above it notched as well and put some heavy connectors through the notch of the top post into the beam so we have a real strong connection on that guy because this is the one that the ridge beam is actually going to sit on so we'll have one of these on top of that beam right there and we'll have another one sitting on top of that top plate right there. Those will stick up about four feet and the, those will accommodate the, the ridge beam. So this is the ridge beam. This is a 20 foot four by 10 glue lamb built the same way as those columns. And it is really heavy. So we're gonna have a beam raising party tomorrow and get that up there. It should be pretty easy to install because we're using these heavy column cap brackets. So this part of the bracket sits on top of the column and the ridge beam just drops right into there. And these are attached to the column and the beam with a whole bunch of these two and a half inch structural screws. So it gives us a really strong connection and it makes it safe to set a heavy beam because you just drop it in there and then you know, even without any screws, it's not going anywhere. So the beam will be about four feet above that beam and it will span the entire length of the porch and it will sit in the bracket on top of that top plate and it'll pass through that bracket and then it'll be cut at an angle and it'll sit on top of the roof about halfway up. So the next thing to do is to get these two columns set on top of the perimeter beams and the top plate over here on the wall and get the brackets installed once we have everything plumbed and put some temporary bracing on those guys and then we will be ready to set the ridge so we'll get a video of that too see you tomorrow